first clip, you are going to be watching drama at Walmart over the return of an air mattress that was already opened. Take a listen to the conversation that happened between the customer and the employee. Yes. All right, so we're going to take care of this now? I didn't even take a mattress. What's wrong? Um, you have bought this before. This right? You came here. My mom return. came here. Okay. You want to return this? I right? want to return it. Now, see, they said to go get another one, but there's not another one over there. So now my mom told him that there wasn't another one, and she goes, well, we can't return it. We can't exchange it. So I, I told my mom, we'll get a gift card because that's a policy. If they can't exchange it, they can give you a gift card, but, right? But uh, we don't have it, you, you mean to say? Let me see. Let me check. Hmm. Okay. I don't give a damn about the other one now. I just want to return this or a gift card or something, okay? But, sir, we have a policy. Of I understand, lady, but look, I'm already here. I've had jab, jab, God damn, I just had over here man because these ladies over here wouldn't take care of it the first time okay they give my mom a hard time and my mom asked for a manager and the skinny lady over there declined her for a manager so now I gotta come over here and take care of this myself taking hours of my day just so I can yeah. handle this but we have it in the stock store okay well then what I want to return it am I the only one that thinks that the customer initially wanted to return the air mattress to get the money back for it, not exchange it. You can exchange it. You cannot return. We have it in the stock. If you want to just give this and get that one, the new one, we can exchange it and we can give the new one. That's all we can do. No, I don't, I don't want this product anymore. So that's the policy of the Walmart return policy about the air mattresses. Mm -hmm. And we are just following it. We are just doing our Okay. Job. A few moments later. I'm being stupid, ma'am. Hey, she just called me stupid. She just called me stupid. She just called me stupid. Ma'am, come on. She just called me stupid. Miss Vanessa. You just called me stupid. What would you call me stupid, ma'am? I said being stupid. What? Exactly. What the f mean? No threats to the receipt. Is that it? No threats. And she just called me stupid. I got you. I got you in recording. Just so you know. Hey, your employee just called me stupid. What? Your employee over there, the short-headed lady, she just called me stupid. Really? That's that's how you guys treat customers, man? Why? Why would you guys do this? She should be. She should take ownership of her behavior. I cannot just. But you, why would you guys put her in the front like that? We're dealing customers. It, that, that's you can use she just called me stupid, man. Really? I have it in a recording, too. The employee was right from the get go regarding the policy on the air mattress. The customer, on the other hand, wanted his money back and he was trying to create a scene in order to do so. That was unbelievable. What would you do or how would you react if you have a Karen as your server at a local restaurant? In this next clip, you are going to be watching this Karen provide service to a family. Take a look at this. What do you want? Can I get some pizza? You're like 35. The kids menu is eight and under. You should have something on the adult menu. Oh my God. Do I look like I'm in charge of anything? All right, that's fine. You know what? Fine. You want to cheap out? That's cool. Damn. What, are what are you drinking? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Your lemonade is going to be this big because you're ordering off the kids menu and I'm not refilling it for you. What do you want? <laughs> what? Weird. You serious? The regular menu or the baby menu? Baby, seven. All right, enjoy your ridiculously that, tiny hamburger. What are you drinking? Whatever. You. What? Great. Drink. Cheap. You. What are you getting? Off the baby menu? 
Well, that's fine. Let's save you money so you can figure out how to leave me a decent tip, okay? Because right now I have no prayer at all. So far, you're not earning one. You know what, Grandpa? If I was nice to you, I'd get canned, okay? If you want good service, you go somewhere else. I know Hooters is probably more your speed. You came food, here on purpose. Okay. Food's better than you used that line already, and it wasn't funny before. What, well, you what are you drinking? Soda. A little more specific, genius. Great. Dad, what do you want? Taco platter. Tacos? You want chicken or beef? Chicken. And toilet water for you. Anything for the little one? No, she's going to eat scraps. Great. What do you want? I'm going to have a three-way bowl of chili. Is that all you're eating? Yeah, the strawberry shake. Three-way bowl of heartburn, strawberry shake. All right, pass all the grown-up menus down. What? Yes, spaghetti. Do I have spaghetti? Did yes. you see it anywhere on the menu? I didn't even look. I'm yeah, that's because we don't have it, okay? You know it. You're at a place that gives out paper hats. You want spaghetti? Go to an Italian restaurant, okay? Well, you have some pizza. Uh, yeah, that's because we get it from Gino's because we own the building. FYI, the clip you just watched is strictly for entertainment purposes. So let me know in the comment section your opinions, your thoughts. Up next, you are going to be watching drama between neighbors over the use of fireworks. Which neighbor do you think is in the wrong on this one? Take a look at this. What's your, what's your name? Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name? What's your last name? What's your last name? Chopper. What's your name? Fine. Criminal. Criminal. Outlaw. We got these. I'll let the fire which stand, ma'am. All, all I can say is that the people that have lived here all these years, the like me, don't appreciate. Neither do people with PTSD. Well, my son neither do sick. people that are fighting cancer. Okay, neither do people that have animals. There's hundreds of people here that everybody that does this bull is over. They sell them at the fire and if stand. nobody, I watch all of this going on yeah, here. I'm videoing everything. Okay. And I will sue anybody who does the illegal bull. These are all safe and sane. See, you get these all into fire with but you know what? You have to be considerate I have an of us, success. just like we are trying to be considerate of you so you can enjoy the fireworks. I'm not happy with people shooting up bombs. I just saw a thing go straight across the street towards the corner house. That's not okay. Wait, son. No, she doesn't want us to light fireworks, son. I don't Come mind on. fireworks. I don't want the illegal fireworks. Come on, Come on kids. They're dangerous. They can't fire let me know in the comment section which of the neighbors do you think is in the wrong on this one in this next clip you're going to be watching a female driver freak out after she was being called out for backing into another female driver's car take a look at this drama i have it on dash cam i have video footage of it with my dash cam I have video footage that you see was in the car while you hit her. I didn't hit the car. I didn't feel it. I honestly did. You did. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you not causing an accident? Look what you're doing. I'm not causing an accident. I'm what stopping you, you from getting away with committing a crime. How am I? Where have I gone? I'm right here. Where have I gone? What do you want to do? You Pay need to me. give her your insurance you information so she can get that fixed. me. You think I don't know how to handle my Look at this. It's cracked. Look what oh you did. Oh, my God. Go away, you stupid before I call the police on Call the police. And then you're the one going to check. I got video footage of you doing what you did. I got a dash cam. You see this? I don't care. Do you think I'm I saw you back into it. Do you think I ran away? And you cracked it. Just give me insurance information. You have I run away. I have run away. Give her the insurance information so she can get this fixed when you cracked on her car. Right? You backed into someone's car while she's in it. Oh my god, would you shut the f Who are you? Get out of here, you After watching the clip, do you think the female driver initially wanted to leave the scene of the accident? Or the guy behind the camera was just doing too much? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. 
In this upcoming clip, you are going to be watching crazy Karen neighbors cursing and demanding that workers who were working on their neighbor's property to stop the illegal work. Take a look at this drama. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And it's not you. Anna, get them on the phone again. Call, call the other one. I hope you're cutting it right there. I hope you're happy. 
I tell you, I would never understand why some people act like this. And it's so sad that some of these Karens worry so much about what others are doing on their own side of the fence. I think they need to mind their own business. In this upcoming clip, you are going to be watching drama between this fast food restaurant employee and a customer. Take a look at this. Yeah, he's very rude. No, you want to start something. I was about to leave and you wanted to start something, right? I, I was going to leave, right? No, no, no. I was going to leave and you want to start something. Can you be nice now? No, no, no. Now you're trying to be nice. Now you pretend to be nice. That's what you are doing. Pretending. I was going to leave and you want to start a fight with the customer. No, I want to teach you how no, to No, no, no. You need to learn how to treat a customer. You look like you want to start drama with people. Yeah. You want to start drama with people. I got my food. I was about to leave. And then you want to start an argument with me. No, no, no. You don't need to teach me anything. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. Okay? No, you don't have to teach me. Who, who you think you want to teach me anything? Who are you to teach me? Excuse me. Who are you to teach me anything? Who are you? I am me. You are you. Exactly. You have no right to teach people anything. First, you need to learn yourself how to treat people. Thank you. First, you need to learn how to treat people and start fight, stop fighting with customers, man. Oh my God, this guy. The customer, in my opinion, was trying to create unnecessary drama. She should have just taken her order and left the store. She didn't even have to wait to engage with the employee. The employee, on the other hand, acted unprofessionally. But that's my opinion. Let me know what is yours in the comment section. In this next clip, you are going to be watching a police officer detain a couple of guys because somebody heard somebody was going to hurt somebody. What the hell is that? Take a listen. Under what? Take me. I go ahead. No, he, you know, he said we're being detained. So are we being detained or are we not? To give him his information back and let us leave. Under what? Under what? Under what crime? What reasonable suspicion? What reasonable suspicion of a crime do you have? That we, that somebody heard that somebody was going to hurt somebody. Somebody heard doesn't trump my right. You guys, we could do this. I'll be back down here tomorrow. I'll be at your precinct tomorrow. Let me have your badge number. Right there. That's no, that's what you told the judge? No. What's your badge number? What's your lien? Officer Patrov, you want to you can okay. go right here and... Okay, who's your shift commander? Call him now. Call your shift commander. I want to know why I'm being detained. Call him. I want to speak to your supervisor. Now, since you, now I got time. See? Now you got to be held up. I want to speak to your shift commander why I'm being detained right now. 
You have no reason, no you lawful record? reason. Yeah. You record, I'll tell my wife to come down. Come no, don't tell down. nobody nothing. I want to, no, I want down. his I'm supervisor. They're getting uh, tickets, by the way. Oh, so right now, tickets. you know, those two cars. That ain't yeah, nothing but money. See, because you now, know. now you're taking it personal, right? This is the thing. You're taking it personal now, right? And you should be, in, instead of doing all that, instead of doing all that, yo, we pay your salary. You, it's not the opposite way. Protect and serve, right? Now, nah, ain't no, ain't no all right. He, I know, but he set that tone, right? He set that tone. You gotta call a cab or a poor man to come get you. He I'm set that tone. Supposedly being detained at Port Day yes, Sierra. Eight, no lawful reason to detain us. Seven, you gonna cost you gonna cost your department seven, money. One, zero, Ain't nobody eight, broke eight, here. Two. You gonna cost your department money. Nobody here is don't broke. Bring keys on Watch. You gonna cost your department yeah. money. I don't know if your dreams are detective or whatever, but this is gonna set you back. Guarantee you. All right, bye. Victor, 6 0 9 4 3 8 8 6 7 0 2 8 2 2. No, you're here because the lady, one of your offices, was walking with. And now he has a personal agenda. Now you have, yes, he do it. It didn't start. In, it didn't start until you start talking about the Marines. Now you have a personal agenda. I'm going to investigate. No, that's the fact. That's the fact. You wasn't investigating. No, you changed three times. He said somebody was doing laps. You came out, said one thing. Now you changed it. You changed it immediately. I got you. You're not a Marine. You're not an ex Marine. It's fine. You don't know this. You don't know that. Nah, we don't got to talk about no more. Listen, it's very it's simple. Paperwork. Paperwork will be That's filed. Uh, we got to call here for a right? you, I hope you like your costume. You're gonna have it on an extra six months to a year. With the last three Lima Alpha Alpha, and the first three was six one Alpha. That's been parked forever. What was the activity though? The activity parties were outside, and the person that I was talking to actually said that you three were the ones that were outside. Right now, is that a crime? Outside the vehicle. Is that a crime? We was, we was with his daughter. His daughter. So then, why you get caught? Why would you even entertain that? It's not a crime. Three people outside at a car is not a crime. It's not a crime. The parties outside were discussing about. So what are we being detained? Possibly hurt. Sir, if I'm not being detained, I'd like my ID back. Right now, you're being detained. Under what? Under what? Under what? What reasonable suspicion of a crime? That he committed. Let me see. Yeah. I live here. Yeah. I live here. Yeah. No, it does. What am I being detained? But you're an officer just like him. You're letting him do that. You said we're not detained. I said. Now you said we're not detained. Under what reasonable suspicion of a crime? Because Never was okay. A, What's your badge number? Because now you want to be a part of it. What's your name? Officer. Okay. Thank you. And I'm now you got to go with him. That's fine. After watching the clip. Do you think this incident was handled correctly? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Finally, on this outrageous episode, you are going to be watching drama between neighbors over their pets. Take a look at this. I want to be able to walk in my front yard and not have a dog jump on me. Here, Tony, help. Yard service done. Am I liable if they get bitten? My yard with your dog? I'm so Crazy. Weird, bro. <laughs> who do you think is in the wrong on this one? Probably the neighbor who is scared of her neighbor's dog, or the neighbor who thinks her neighbor is weird. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.